Kelly K1 2.5 FM. Good morning to you on your Friday. It's January 27, 2023. Since Community Conversations, K1 is here in the studio with you. And I am just awaiting on our guests for today, members of Karis Group. And they are going to be talking about the 2023 Nonprofit Summit. This has actually been an event that they have put on for some years now. And um, I haven't actually ever attended in person myself, even though I will be speaking this year, but our very own uh, Kubila always participated in years past. I think Ali may have even joined us at one point, but it's actually a great program and it is a great resource for nonprofits in the area. So definitely looking forward to speaking with members of the CARES group about the summer. And of course, they are also doing other great things in the community. They recently hosted the LEAP program, Leveraging Expertise to Accelerate Profit. And this is a program that they put together specifically for Black women entrepreneurs in the for-profit sector to help to grow and scale their businesses. And of course, they did that in partnership with Ford. So they are definitely on the move, doing what they can to help make this community a better place. So while we're waiting for our guests to join both via Zoom and via on the Facebook Live, just kind of want to update you on some things that we have going on in the community. This is kind of like something a girl Q would always do. While we wait for a guest, we will definitely read announcements. So, Black History Month getting ready to go into February 1st. And we will have a kickoff here at the KLEK studio. And that is going to be, let me pull this flyer up from Alice. But it's going to be from 4 to 6 p.m. right here at the Kelly K Studio, and of course, there are plenty of events that are going to be put on um, by Arkansas State University. So let's kind of look and just see um, what do we have um, in those regards. And of course, I'm looking at this one community announcement that was sent to us from New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Their youth department is having a Black History Celebration History in the Making, Genesis 127. That's going to be Sunday, February 26th at 3 o'clock p.m. at their church, 403 West Allen Avenue in Jonesboro. All right, there is going to be a low-cost pet vex vaccination clinic Saturday, February 18th from 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And this is going to be sponsored by the JACNAFA. And they're going to offer rabies, K95 and 1, Bordetella, feline 3 and 1, K9 heartworm test, However, you must pre-register, and the information for that is via email, nafahelp at gmail.com. All right, let's see what else do we have. Let me get to my Canva account, and we can see some of the Black History flyers. So again, we are waiting for members of the Keras Group to join us to talk about the upcoming nonprofit um, summit, which is going to be uh, in March. And so definitely are looking forward um, to having that. Of course, how's everyone out there doing today? Hopefully everyone having a good day. It's actually about 35.2 degrees, so it's actually kind of chilly outside. Definitely looking forward to much warmer weather whenever that warmer weather finally does come in the community. So again, just kind of looking for some announcements of things going on in the community to make you aware of while we wait for our guests to appear in the studio. All right, so here we go. Kelly K open mic night, which will be February 25th from six o'clock p.m. to nine o'clock p.m. That's gonna be at James Bickham studio. That's why James Bickham has a new spot downtown, which is available for rent. And that is at 221 South Main Street in Jonesboro. And you just sign up at the event. All you got to do is just come out. It is a Kayla K fundraiser. And of course, this year, it is going to be dedicated in memory of our own Kubila Jones, because we all know how much she loved poetry. 
And I believe our guest is now here in the studio. So I'm gonna actually turn this camera on her. Oh, as I'm sitting down. Okay. All right, good. I, I, my voice my voice is starting to, to wear out a little bit. You so, are so we're speak, gracious. All right, so we're speaking with Sean Quetta Cunningham with since we got the Zoom on, so it's going through the Zoom one. Um Miss Candy still gonna join us? Uh, I am zone. unsure. My apologies. But I thought I she was gonna be in studio, so I didn't even turn the zoom on. Okay, so let's oh. so let's just let's just dive right in. Let's just dive right into it because um, we only got about like 12, 13 minutes left. Okay. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the nonprofit summit and what it's going to mean to the city of Jonesboro, Northeast Arkansas. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited and uh, if I see Candace and Megan have uh, they've they've got on to me. I'm so sorry, you all, but hi, Shanquetta Cunningham again. We are so excited to host uh, the seventh annual nonprofit summit. Uh, it will be held March second, and this year, you know, I'm even more excited about the summit. Uh, it's because we will be tackling just the number one issue facing nonprofit leaders, and that is. How do we get more money to spread our impact? And so this year, yes, we know that we have uh, board membership concerns and we may need better systems or how do we gain volunteers. All of that is important, uh, but it's equally important to have a financial footing so that you can do the work. And every session, it's not a repeated session for my different speakers, but we'll have speakers to talk about engagement how a donor continuum, so how do you get people that's donating $50 a month to you? How do they continue on to where they're, um, they expand their giving and uh, even to where it could be in trust in wheels? You know, we don't want to talk about that, but we all, you know, will exit here. And so how do we have these comfortable conversations to get people to bequeath their wealth of organizations, right? Well, so, you know, plan giving is actually, for some nonprofits, a major source of revenue. Oh, yeah. so it's, oh, yeah. it's definitely not anything to run away from. Oh, yeah. No, no. Um, but if we could be honest, a lot of those conversations are happening in our community specifically just on a personal level. So can you imagine having that in a business setting? You know, so we want to have an expert to come in to teach us how to do that. And from my experience, again, you're right. The first time that I was kind of really exposed to it was like going to radio conferences uh, like your MP, your larger NPR stations, even your larger independent full power radio stations, you know, they do have planned giving and they have stock donation programs and, mm -hmm. and things like that, uh, in which their supporters can and do that. I, I bet you had one person who has said that they uh, are considering donating their estate to KLEK, but they're, oh. they're, they're pretty young, so you know. But again, we're not asking, we're not wanting for anyone to pass away. So, but it's, it's good yeah, to have that, yeah, that yeah. option. So, what are some? Of the, so, what are some of the other things that people can expect? Uh, they're going to be speakers. In fact, uh, uh -oh, I've, I've been go asking ahead and I, I've been invited <laughs> to speak on the panel, which I graciously accepted. Yes, uh, and our fireside, a fireside, fireside chat, um, and so that's going to be an amazing thing to have local successful nonprofit leaders speak directly to you about their journeys. And so we're excited about that at our nonprofit fireside chat. Also, we'll have our annual um, $1,000 pitch competition. And so that's open, though. You have to register to attend the summit in order to pitch um, at the summit. And just like businesses have pitch competitions, well, we wanted to provide the opportunity for nonprofits to be able to do so. And on the other side of that, you'll be amazed to know how many nonprofit leaders are kind of shy or don't know what to say or think they have to share about their nonprofit in 30 minutes. So you need the same elevator speech, as they call it, or at least purpose statements uh, to share what you are doing and then for people to know how they can support you. Absolutely. And of course, you are doing so many other great things in the community as well. You just recently launched the LEAP program, Leveraging Expertise to Accelerate Profit. This is for specifically for Black women entrepreneurs in the for-profit sector that's being spearheaded by your organization over a cup in conjunction with Forge. So just kind of let the listeners know a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am in a season I pray for. Uh, and then a season to where... I didn't know what to pray for, but God has still amazed me. Uh, and so with Over a Cup, that's the 
social responsibility of carers. And this is just a nugget too for black women businesses or business in general. If you think about the model that's been set by uh, the corporations that you admire, they all have some type of corporate give back. Um, they all have some type of just efforts that they do to move the community forward. Well, for carers, it's supporting black women. So daytime, I'm helping them profit. Uh, the mission on a personal level as a CEO is to support black women entrepreneurs like myself. And so we have been blessed to have a funding partner through Over a Cup. Um, and uh, we are going to launch the first cohort for black women entrepreneurs in Northeast Arkansas. We have 15 amazing business owners that apply for the program. Uh, and it starts February 7th. We will have a fall cohort. So if you're listening and you um, are wanting to scale your business and just start from the basics of even knowing if I even classified my business right, if I even structured that right. Well, this program is for you um, in the fall, but over a cup is always open to any um, black woman entrepreneur. And in fact, we are meeting tomorrow, 9 a.m. at Story Coffee House. And of course, I have seen with my own two eyes how much um, your efforts have grown and your passion about specifically connecting um, black women together. You have really become a voice for black women in this community, whether you plan to or not. Hmm. So how does that make you feel? Uh, we just said that just, I had to take a moment. Um, well, I mean, just to really deeply <laughs> yeah. reflect on it from like, you know, you're not just helping people, you literally are leading a movement. I'm gonna keep my G status on the air. You're not gonna make me cry. Okay. Well, we already saw you cry at the event. And of course, if you would like to see the women of the Leap Academy cohort, we did go live. So you can go on the Kelly K one two point five Facebook page, and you can actually see the footage as those ladies were introduced. It definitely was a beautiful occasion. We had Jonesboro Mayor Harold Copenhaver to mm -hmm. give his well wishes and remarks. Several other city officials came out as well. So it's just a great thing. Yeah, that is but thank you. So let's, let's, let's bring it all back to the nonprofit yeah. summit. So registration is open and ongoing. Tell them what they got to do to register. Yeah, so what you have to do to register to attend, again, the nonprofit summit, learning about all things wealth to increase your profits in your nonprofit, go to www.consultcaris.com. There's a big green button. It still may be the color green. It's getting worked on as we speak. Um, but it so will say 2023, <laughs> 2023 Nonprofit Summit. As well, you can follow Karis Group. Karis is spelled K-H-A-R-I-S um, on Facebook. And uh, again, you'll just see a plethora of posts about the Nonprofit Summit. Uh, and fun fact, um, again, I'm just still relishing in what you just said, charis is a Hebrew noun that means God's extended grace and favor. And so I am just seeing that manifestation now. And what I do, I get to uh, support social entrepreneurs like yourself and nonprofit leaders. I get to support great women. Uh, and so I do know that my life is called to advocacy and connection and administration. And it's a privilege to be able to use those gifts. Well, you know, as one of my mentors always told me, when you serve the community, the community will serve you. So, oh, yeah. Once again, get back to the nonprofit conference, the School of Nonprofit Summit that's going to be March 2nd. What's the location? At ASU Centennial Hall. And so, another great thing about the summit, I'm glad I remember it, we will have a meet and greet that Thursday night. So, that's for nonprofit leaders to be able to come. I'm so thankful to Mr. Adrian Everett. Uh, Everett and the Multicultural Center who will be helping us sponsor that. And that's just a way to just have a relaxed environment. You know how it is at conferences. Um, you want to be on your uh, P's and Q's and you don't have enough time to really network. Now the ones so, I have, they usually have a little kickoff and they usually have some adult libations there as well. Now obviously we're not on that kind of vibe for this one. <laughs> you know, I, we st we we're still talking about all what it will entail. But again, it's going to be a great mingle of nonprofit leaders. And then I think that also uh, precedes what a great conference uh, will manifest into a greater conference because you had those connections the night before. And so when you get there at nine o'clock in the morning, it's going to be like, hey, you again, see, I had so much fun. Let's sit by one another. 
and just have a great day at the conference. But you know, but having those kind of events are, are important because again, like from my experiences going to radio conferences, mm-hmm. it does kind of make the mood more relaxed mm-hmm. when you know you mm-hmm. kind of had a chance to just kind of chill. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember the most recent one I went to, uh, actually hung out with uh, my piece of KASU that had their representatives okay. there. Okay. Um, you know, me and uh, their GM, Mark, you know, we hung up. I'm not going to tell you what we did, but we, uh, <laughs> but, but we had a good time there. Speaking <laughs> with Sean Quay, the Cutting Camp of the Karen School, let's go ahead and go to the Facebook comment shop to Dr. Sharice jones Branch. Hi, Mentor. I see Brandy Puga and Candace Brooks, your partner, says, mm-hmm. I'm here in the comments. And Dr. Branch says, good morning. Brandy says, good morning. And Daphne Jones is watching. Oh, sorry, Brandy, correctly, March 3rd. All right, got the date wrong. All right. Oh, Lynette, okay. Lynette Hurst, shout out to you. Daphne says, good morning. I'm so proud of Shanquetta Cunningham. All right, so in addition to, you it's mentioned at the <laughs> conference about the board training, the pitch competition, the um, plan giving. What are some of the other topics that are going to come up at the conference? Um, thank you for asking that. So we're also going to have a session about how to tell your story and monetize your story. You know, there are I was amazed. Um, it was, that's gonna, that session is actually going to be led by Ms. Ruth Ann Hill of Arkansas Single Parent Scholarship Fund, mm-hmm. the executive director. If you all have not heard her speak, she is amazing. Amazing. And, I mean, can capture an audience to about the time that she finishes, you want to actually just go ahead and write a check. Well, she's going to come and share and deliver and, and teach other nonprofit leaders how to do the same. Well, you have that effect too. I can't say when you tell the story about Kelly Kay and with your uh, great mom and, uh, you know, all that, even I think with Kabila adding to that conversation, I think you definitely have a, a, a power of storytelling. But yeah, that's why I, well, I think I may have an unfair advantage because I have to talk all the time about what I do. Yeah, your you radio. Know? So, yeah. But still, though, I mean, delivery. But, it, but it's going to be something great because not everybody yeah. has that gift. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's what's going to be the beautiful thing about this conference. And I even mentioned this when I was giving my comments in responding to becoming a speaker that I'm looking forward to sharing my experiences and learning from others because I tell people all the time um, I knew absolutely nothing about nonprofits when starting this. Um, but, and I tell people, you know, that. Full transparency, the only reason why I got into it, because the FCC said, well, if you, know, if you want this radio station, you're going to have to incorporate as a nonprofit to get it, um, because these ra- these licenses, we're only setting these aside for nonprofits to do community work, mm-hmm. which I would do community work if this was a for-profit mm-hmm. venture. That mm-hmm. was never, my, you know, I always had the desire that to serve, but the FCC mm-hmm. said, okay, you got to you gotta incorporate as a nonprofit for us to get to you. So then I had to learn a whole different world um, and there were, and of course, you know, I had met you, but you was kind of you was kind of getting off the I'll ground. Start too, yeah. um, <laughs> there was really no roadmap, so it was just mm-hmm. figure it out as you go. You know, you have to learn from your um, successes and learn from your failures. So now, fast forward eight years later, having resources, people that you can lean on and learn from, and having the groups such as the Leader Circle, I had to get a plug in for that. Yes. Um, you know, it, it's going to make the path much easier. So, so as we get ready to wind down, any final comments, anything else that you just want to say or promote about the conference, LEAP program, Over a Cup, or anything, Karis? <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Just, you know, I am encouraging, if you are an aspiring, um, you know, nonprofit, which I, well, again, what I call you, social entrepreneur, you want to start a nonprofit, you should come if you're seasoned, you should attend. Um, if you want to network, you should know people in your profession. If you know more business people and have limited connections in the nonprofit space, um, then this conference is for you. If you are a church member and want to do more social community programs, this conference will help you learn how to leverage funding for that as well. So yes, please come. But I also wanted to say this again, so just look at what you said, look what God is just doing and has done. We both met one another at a starting point. We're both taking a leap. I was just a few months ahead right. of you, you know, but just look at this moment now. I mean, it's just. Yeah, God and we literally said, so as soon, <laughs> soon as the interview shut down, she's gonna go literally across the hall <laughs> and, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and on our podcast channel. That's why we do have a podcast. Well, we've always had a podcast channel. We just I'm not actually doing something with it. But but you can go on Spotify or any of your podcast things and search K- Kayla K because we Kayla K FM on everything. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this podcast up. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But look at that. God is good. So, yes, come to the conference. Um, if you want to learn how to support and volunteer to help with the conference, reach out to me, 501-404-8942. But there are different ways. If you want to come, you can come. Just give me a call. It is a registration fee. Let me say that. Uh, but I also know the season of grace that I'm in. She'll work with you. So y'all. exactly. So just contact us. Our candidates is on. Brandy is on. Uh, but we want to see you at the nonprofit conference, especially our faith based faith based leaders. They you all should be at the conference. Definitely. <laughs> you know, definitely. The, the, she can help you with spreading God's <laughs> word. All right, that's gonna do it for this edition of community conversations. You guys have a great and blessed day. This is Kate, LK, on two point five FM. All right, we'll stop this.